Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th Python web development with Flash tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about message flashing. Uh, flashing is built into Flask and what it does is you can use it like a notification. So for example let me show you on uh, pythonprogramming.net what I'm talking about. So I come over here, I'm logged in, I click log out and there's this little message here that just says you've been logged out and I can exit out of it. Same thing if I go to dashboard, it says welcome guest, feel free to browse the content, blah blah blah. The tracking stuff is only available for logged in users, which is these tracking bars uh, that I showed you guys earlier. So, uh, and then again, this can be X'd out. That's all um, bootstrap code, basically for the Xing out. And then the way that we flash messages is Flask. Now, you can write your own messaging system on your own or really I think I, the better term I think is it's a notification system um, you can write yours on your own I actually have my own kind of version of uh, flash but you the only time you would ever do that is for like really custom stuff because you can actually do a lot of really custom stuff with flash so anyways let me move this over and let's go ahead and get started so first we're going to come over here or actually I think I already have mine up uh, init.py and the first thing we have to do is from flask after all these imports we're going to also import flash and then dashboard I've deleted slash board because we don't need it anymore um, in dashboard we're going to go ahead and let's just run flash real quick uh, and we'll call it flash test okay and like later on what you can do though is you can say you can do something like if user um, not logged in flash you know you're not logged in okay something like that okay you can you can add logic like that and then you don't have to pass the flash through the template so the best thing that you can do to handle flashes is actually not via each little uh, file like dashboard and this page and that page the best way to handle it is actually within your header um, so this is what extend or yeah all the pages extend header so you'd come over to your header now come down to the bottom and just before block body you still want it obviously within the container so it kind of matches your styling of your your body content and then within here we're going to flash the messages so the way that we're going to do that is the following so we're going to use uh, some logic here and then this the first logic is with messages equals get underscore flashed underscore messages and that's a function uh, and basically what this means is with the fact that <laughs> messages so this messages variable equals the return of get flash messages so with that what do we want to do well we're gonna first let's go ahead and end end with before we forget and then space space then we're gonna ask the question if messages so basically what happens here is if there are messages and we'll close off the end if so if messages means if there's anything like if messages is even a defined variable that's true if mess if there's nothing there that returns false and this would stop uh, so if messages what do we want to do well if there are messages we're going to use a for loop because you might just flash one message but there actually might be like five messages that you flash uh, so you want each one to be handled so now we're going to say for message in messages what do we want to do well first we're going to end the for before we forget it's very hard on us python folk for message in messages what do we want to do well we're going to use uh, some bootstrap stuff and we're going to utilize div tags for that and basically what we're going to say is div equals uh, class uh, or div class equals alert uh, alert uh, I think warning is yellow so we'll say alert warning uh, you can also do info I believe is going to be blue uh, so that will kind of match our website a little better I didn't want to do info for myself just simply because I had uh, that same color for the topics that I'll show you guys later so warning and that's probably best for a notification anyways and it matches basically the blue and yellow scheme that is the website and is the Python colors 
So alert, alert, warning. Again, that is bootstrap code. Uh, and then also, it is also a class alert dash uh, dismiss, oops, dismissible. The role is alert, alert, there we go. Uh, and then that's really it for now. We're, we will add a button, but for now, let's just add the message. So let's just say uh, um, message like this. Okay, so that's our header. We can save that. Now we can come over to our init.py file. We are already flashing the test. I don't think we restarted a Apache, so let's do that. And we'll refresh. And now we get flash test. Awesome. And uh, if we were to, I'm trying to think of any other page that we have. Uh, I guess we don't really have any other page. Uh, but let's go and add our, at least our X out button. So here, message. Now we want to add a button that will allow us to dismiss this. So we need a button tag, so button slash button. And this is button uh, type equals button uh, class equals close. Again, this is uh, bootstrap code. Data dash dismiss equals alert. So we're dismissing this alert. Data dismiss equals alert. Area label label equals close. Uh, and then finally, uh, let me see here. Yeah, so within here is where we're going to add this little X. So we've got the button, but now we need something that does it. So for example, we could probably, I believe, get away with close like this. So let's refresh. Right, so you've got close. We click it and that goes away. Obviously, that's kind of annoying. It's not really, I mean, well, first of all, we're zoomed way the hell in. So it would look like this and you can hit close. Um, but I wouldn't mind um, having that X. So the way that I did the X is with uh, the span tags. So you've got span slash span really hard once you get into this span span and then the span here is space aria dash hidden hidden equals uh, true and then the rest of the code was and times semicolon and hopefully that gives us the X that we're hoping for show enough there is the X if I forget to edit out my face in the video, I'm sorry, but you should see an X. So this is also part of the problem is from before, though, is that uh, this kind of bootstrap is meant to be, um, you know, resizable. OK, so you can view it on a phone like this or you could view it on a computer like this. Now, for some reason, when I squish this up and then pull it back out, this happens. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I think I did, but I'm not sure why that happens. But if you refresh it, it's fixed, and it's not really top priority for me to deal with the people that do this to my website. I just don't care about you. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So flash test, cool. Got that. And again, if if we did, you know, you might have multiple things that you want to flash to the user. Um, so whoops, <sighs> render. Okay, save that, uh, refresh, or restart Apache, start this. So you've got all these flashes here and so on. So anyway, that's that. Um, the last thing, let's see if we can contain our uh, file here. Let's go to the header. So you see, uh, I don't know which is our header. Let's just close everything and come back over here. Header. Okay, so you've got body. This is your container. This also contains the body. We can, it says width 80%. Uh, what if we say max width 80%? I would just like to fix this container. Uh, let's do just a regular container. There we go. So it's not so annoying. <laughs> let's just do width 80%. 
Okay. So we can play with that a little bit more later uh, as far as how you want to organize uh, your content. But obviously when it's like the whole page is kind of annoying. Right now our tabs and our text are you know kind of small. So maybe you would want it bigger. Maybe you want everything left oriented. I don't know. But that's how you can at least make it so it's not you know spanning the entire page if, if you so choose. Um, so anyway, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, so we covered Flash and all the things that we can do with Flash. Obviously, again, you're going to use Flash more so for like logic and stuff. But again, uh, just just to show you, we can change instead of having it be an alert, we can change it to info, and now it's blue. Um, I think the other, I think you can have like danger is red. I forget. There's one for green. I don't remember what it is. Maybe success. Let's try success and see if I'm right. Anyway, but yeah, you can have you know multiple colors, stuff like that. Flash messaging system. Yeah, I was right. Just doesn't work with these colors though. Anyway, but also, let's say you wanted your own color, you could add it. You go to the bootstrap.css file, find the thing for alert dash success, right, or just the color of success, and change the value. It's just hex color code. So you could pick anything you wanted, um, and you could change the values. It just so happens that the bootstrap blue pretty much matches the Python blue. So I saw no purpose for really changing much. And then the yellow kind of works with it. Um, I wouldn't want a super bright yellow anyways. But anyway, uh, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.